I'm Dr. Bashir Ahmed and welcome to Wellness Talks with Dr. B. This is a new series where I focus on topics in health and wellness to help benefit you and to help you create a better lifestyle. In today's episode, we're going to discuss creating the lifestyle of gratitude and how awesome it can be to live a life full of positivity. So we all know that it's amazing to be grateful, right? But you may not know that research actually shows that those who consciously choose to be grateful, to be thankful, and to live life focusing on positivity tend to be healthier mentally and physically than those who focus on negativity and lack. Yeah, I said it. So if you want to help yourself become healthier, you have to start with how you look at life and what you're putting into your mind. So as I said at the top of this, we want to help you create a lifestyle of gratitude because yes, you're probably saying, okay, of course, Dr. B, I have moments where I'm grateful. We all do. But then a lot of us also have moments where we can't get out of the muck and mire. Maybe we're feeling sorry for ourselves. Maybe something's going on in life where we just can't be happy or to find joy in some way. Well, I don't know if you all have heard of this, but it's called a 90 second rule. Anytime that anything negative happens to you, it, or positive, in the first 90 seconds, you can decide how that occurrence is going to affect you. So literally, literally, listen to me on this. You can decide whether you're going to choose to react to that in a positive way, or if you're going to allow it to affect you in a negative way. 90 seconds. So if you choose negative, then you may not be wondering, or you may be wondering, why you're having a horrible day okay the power is with you so how do we create this lifestyle of gratitude i have four steps for you the first one being simply start a gratitude journal a lot of us do journals anyway about what's going on in our lives well the gratitude journal is just every single day you saying what you're grateful for i go a little bit further with mine Every single day, I write down and I recite to myself, like while I'm driving or getting ready to get do a conference call or something, I write down 10 things that I'm grateful for to really put myself into that mindset. So on those days, maybe stuff has happened or you're not feeling your best, open up that journal, read all those amazing things that you have to be thankful for and just watch your outlook change. Step number two. Start thanking the people in your life. How many times do we have these people where if something were to happen to them, we're like, oh Lord, they meant so much to me. They did so much for me. But while they were there next to you and there for you, you never even said thank you. Change that in your life starting now. Thank everyone around you and let them know how much they mean to you. Step number three, if you are a spiritual person, such as myself, or if you just have a higher power that you look up to, incorporate meditation and prayer into your daily gratitude practice. In fact, one of the oldest quotes on gratitude by a, an 11th century German theologian by the name of Meister Eckhart, this quote says, if there was only one prayer that you would say for your entire life, let it be thank you, and that would suffice. What that basically says, guys, is those two words are so powerful that could actually be the only prayer that we ever said. And step number four, last but never least, just say thank you every single day you get up and make sure you mean it. So I really hope that you take these four steps to heart, truly practice them, because remember, if you just listen and let it go, you're not going to change your behavior. But if you want to make it a lifestyle, give yourself 28 days straight of doing these four steps and see how your life changes for the better. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this information. I'm Dr. B with Wellness Talks and I'll see you next time.